In this video, we're reviewing how to divide fractions. Remember, when you see division between two fractions, what you're going to do is you're going to apply the keep change reciprocal method to change that division multiplication. You keep the first fraction the same, you change the division to multiplication, and then you record the reciprocal of the second fraction. This problem on the right side is, is exactly the same as this problem, so I just copied what I had done over here on this side. Now it's time for us to multiply and reduce. On the left side, we're going to multiply first and then reduce. On the right side, we're going to reduce diagonally and then multiply, so we can compare and see which seems faster and simpler. First, I'm going to take my red pen and multiply 20 by 11. Zero times one is zero, and two times one is two. And then I need a zero to hold the place value. Then zero times one is zero, and two times one is two, and I get 220 for my numerator. Then I'm going to multiply the 5 by the 33. And I'm taking the time to multiply in this video so you can see how long this actually takes. 3 times 5 is 15, carry the 1. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 1 is 165. So the denominator is 165. So here's my fraction. And now I need to reduce. I see that this number in the ones place has a zero and this number has a five. So I know they can each be divided by five. Hope this seems, you know, annoying and long. It's taking a long time. All right, five goes into 22 four times. Five times four is 20. And I need to bring down a zero before I can ask the question. Five goes into 24 times. We get the idea. Okay, so that would be 44 in the numerator. And then 165 divided by five. All right, so five goes into 16 three times. Three times five is 15. Bring down the five. 5 goes into 15 three times. Sorry, I'm kind of rushing this. I want you to feel the, that it's taking a long time, but I also don't want to take absolutely forever. Now I see that I can divide each of these by 11. And I get 4 thirds. Now I think you're going to be amazed at how fast it's going to be to instead reduce first and then multiply. So take a look at this. We need to compare the five and the 20. What do they have in common? Well, the factor that you can divide them both by is five. So ask yourself, five divided by five, that gives you one. 20 divided by five gives you four. I circle those new numbers. Then I'm going to look diagonally at the 11 and the 33. What can I divide them each by? 11. 33 divided by 11 is 3. 11 divided by 11 is 1. I circle my new numbers. Now I need to multiply. So I reduce first, now I'm going to multiply. 1 times 4 gives me 4. And then 1 times 3 gives me 3. So my final answer over here is also 4 thirds, but it took a lot less time. So I'm trying to show you that you can either multiply across and then reduce, or you can reduce diagonally first and then multiply across. Either way is fine by me. I'm just trying to show you a different method. 